Oh, wait, hang on. Um, do I have audio? Oh, I'm live anyway. If I don't have audio, let me know. Like, if my mouth is moving, but you can't hear anything, tell me. But anyway, we're gonna wait on the intro for just a little while. We're, of course, doing Book of Demons uh, today. But yes, in case you're wondering, this is the Game Train Live, so you're definitely in the right place. We're not going to quite do the intro yet until I get to Somewhere the start screen. Space and time, but ooh, there nice is a little place, intro video. The archive How cool of is that? An ancient vault that guards I have my tea, so no worries there. Each book, a magical mm. gateway to the paperverse. Mm -hmm. Let me take you on a journey through the seven masterpieces. It's time to return to games. Isn't that like the developer thing? That's not the name of the game. I think, did I start the wrong one? Ooh, okay, so apparently there are updates to this game. Cool, so the devs are still working and crack a lacking at it. Uh, so they last updated it on the 9th of March and the 16th of January. Added new soundtracks and reworked music system. Well, you did a great job. Anyway. Uh, oh wow. I have Book of Aliens or Book of Demons. Left click to start. Right click for options. Let's start it. Yeah? Ah, All right. the Book of Demons. A truly grim story in our collection. Not for the faint of heart. <laughs> a wandering hero returns. Well, let's just go ahead and do the intro now. Oh, wow. Hello, everybody. Welcome Never back to the Game Train Live. I'm your host, Joel Michael. What we're playing through hell. today is the, the Book of Demons. The and yes, I know there's really cool narration going on in the background, and I'm for sorry for talking over it, but I'll let it just go now. Is concluded. So, the Book of Demons is a game oh. that's apparently about the ultimate a book of demons. And this reminds me of the scene from Final Fantasy VIII. You're at the beginning Adventure. of the game where you're going and you're going to, like, fight Ifrit and get him as a guardian force. None of this other crap Horrors. reminds me of Final Fantasy VIII, but... I think something humor just humorous just happened. I don't know. I, I think I, I felt humorous vibes coming through. Like one of the one the, the dude drops his shield or something like that. Dig in the art style. I like how everyone's like, kind of a, like a page out of a book or like a cutout of several pages out of a book or something like that. Let us go into the character creation wizard. But I like wizard. Or like I like warrior. Select warrior slot? Oh, you can have multiple saves based on what character you are? Is that what that is? Select warrior slot. Maybe I can have... Oh! Reach level 5 with warrior to unlock the rogue. Reach level 5 with warrior to unlock the mage. So I guess we have to be a warrior, huh? Well, that's fine. Mini challenge number 144. Oh, okay. So there are mini challenges that you can do as you go. I like it. Play as warrior, a mighty adventurer that believes in the brute power of steel. He is proficient in all kinds of weapons and armors. You can sometimes spot a little madness in his eyes when he's charging a large group of monsters. Okay. Character name. Hroldolfer. Fine, whatever. I, I like defaults. Oh, but I can randomly generate a name. Let's see what kind of name I can randomly generate, shall we? Mol Modolfer, Wolf, Haldor, Modolfer, again, Odin, Heimer, <laughs> Ivar, Hroy, Fjallar, oh, Fjallar, Giri as Roder, Ivander, Ingvar, <laughs> I like Ingvar, continue. A balanced blend of fun and challenge. Start here if you don't know what to choose. Normal or what's casual. 
Best if you prefer more relaxed play or a new to dungeon crawl. I'm not new to dungeon crawlers. So cards drop in random order that allows you to counter enemies' abilities. What's roguelike? Totally random card drop order. Limited healing. Fountains don't refill. Amulets don't work outside of combat. Resurrection and healing in towns cost increased amounts of gold. Mmm, that doesn't sound like it's up my alley. Let's go for normal. Super hot mode? Enable super hot mode in which time moves only when you move. Super hot mode together with its iconic white and red filter can be both enabled or disabled later in options. Well, let's not go with super hot mode because I'm more of a, of a mild kind of guy rather than super hot. I do enjoy mild though. Um, as, as opposed to nothing on my quesadillas. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's a pretty girl with some dots above her head. Let's click on her. Is that really you? I'm so happy to see you. <sighs> Finally, that somebody else is done. talking. Allowing me to take it a break. It seems like it's been ages since you left our town. I just wish we weren't meeting under such dire circumstances. Is this sounding like Back plot then, to you? It was peaceful. Gross. But now the town is disturbed by a demonic presence that's spreading mm. throughout the land. Most of our friends are gone. Some people fled. Mm. Some mm. took their own lives. <laughs> Some In case you were wondering, vanished. that's my tea. Those who stayed have lost their minds oh, wait, or are too to leave their houses. I'm doing my best to keep everyone's spirits up. But the truth is, we won't survive for long without help. Just don't tell anybody I said that. Well, what does it matter? I'm your you help. must have lots of questions, but I don't have many answers. Talk to the sage. Yeah, okay. Uh, I talked to the sage. Okay, gotcha. So, gossip. Oh, she's the barmaid. Do you have a particular topic in mind? Is that really you? Oh, okay. I'm so happy to see you back. I just, we just heard that, so we don't have to go into gossip anymore. Magic Cauldron is not yet available. Golden Key is not yet available, but it costs 25k gold. I only have 100 gold. So... Yar. Let's see what we got here with this dude. I, I don't think I remember seeing him before. I think he just There's no better way up. to forge his name is Darkness. <laughs> I should know. Uh, it's like I but named I him out of my own leave. heart. We need you here. We need you. Dark things lurk in the depths beneath the old cathedral. Okay, so we do have I've seen plenty of evils in my travels. Uh, we have but audio this coming out of somewhere. Dragon wastes look like a walk in the park. Everything started with the disappearance of our bishop. I fear he has been dragged into the catacombs deep below the church. Well, let's start looking there. Unlock card slot. You don't have enough gold to unlock next card slot. Okay. Oh, and I can identify cards. He's kind of like my Deckard Cain if I was playing Diablo. Uh, those are the only two people there. Looks like I have to go to the cathedral. Or the catacombs beneath the cathedral. Quest one, the cook. When do I get to the bishop? Quest two, the antique pope. Hell starts here. <laughs> He's got a little ducky, and the ducky has a little choker on it. <laughs> Spiked choker on the ducky. <laughs> That's so clever. Oh, I don't want to go down yet. Can't I visit with the barmaid a little bit? Just a little bit longer before I go venture and defeat, like, paper skeletons and things. Book of Demons uses mechanics different from other hack-and-slash games. If you're playing for the first time, pay attention to the tutorials. <laughs> That's going to be so easy to do when I'm trying to play, and it's all going to be entertaining at the same time, so that you can have the best possible experience. Good luck in the paper dungeons. Oh, okay. Dungeon generated. Click to continue. I oh. am the sword. Immediately, I'm getting like a. Uh, what's that game? Night? Night something? Vibe? Oh. I'll, I'll think of the name of that game later, but it's a very popular uh, older series. There was the third iteration where you could build your own town, but nobody really cared about that. And then the whole series kind of went down. Um, click anywhere to move. Click behind or on your character to stop. Your character will stop at intersections. Okay. I don't want to skip tutorials. I want to keep going. You can interact with objects in your light 
Radius. Radii. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, footprints here. <gasps> mm. I don't know if clicking on him multiple times helped, but I'm going to say that it does. Let's see. There's ways that I can experiment with that. Click to choose a target. Your character... Oh, okay. Auto attacks. Auto attack is slow. Each hit damages one heart. Click or click and hold on target to attack faster. Oh, okay. When engaged with monsters, click and hold to retreat. When engaged with monsters, click and hold to retreat. But click and hold to... Okay, they must mean right click to retreat. So... Wow, no, okay. Um, it's... No, I don't know what they mean, click and hold to retreat. Maybe it's the middle mouse button? Clicking and holding to retreat? Icons at the top represent points of interest on this level. The icon is revealed when you're getting near. Oh, okay. So, that treasure chest is there... ...because of that chest. Okay. Ooh, what did I get? It's a card! Unfit. <laughs> That's what it looked like. It looked like unfit. Mighty blow deals massive damage and stuns the target. Requires a target. <laughs> Let us equip that one. You can use the card by clicking it, by R right clicking it or pressing. I was just reading. Rude! View your cards by pressing I, inventory, or using the button in the bottom right corner. Okay. Rearrange cards between your card panel and slots by clicking or dragging them. Only equipped cards are active. Alright, use cards and slots with right click or zero to nine keys. To unlock more card slots, visit the sage in town. Okay. Okay. I'm probably going to be saying that a lot. Just like, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I'll I don't have to click on the money. I just have to move the mouse over the money and then I collect it. I guess that's a good, a good compromise. Alrighty. Heart points are your life. If you lose them all, you will die. Well, that's usually how it goes. <laughs> your heart points don't auto regenerate. Use fountains and cards to recover health. You can always go back to the town and be healed by Zahila. I can dig it. Wow, I have an extensive range on my sword. I mean, that is, like, massive. Okay. I don't like how there's a chest that's still up there. And it's like... I imagine there's a reason why I still have a chest icon up there. Oh! I leveled up. And I did a cool little dance animation when I leveled up. That's awesome. Kill monsters and gain experience points to level up. Like in, like, what, all other RPGs? <laughs> Each time you level up, all monsters lose one heart. Oh. Every level gives you one point, which can be added to your hearts or used to boost your mana. All right. Not bad. I can dig that. What's up here? I can see that the sanctity of this place has been fouled. Oh, I said that. Okay, that's fine. As long as there isn't anyone else around who, uh, who said that. I want there to be, like, hidden things that I can click. The, like, unobvious things that I can click to get more stuff. I don't want to go down quite yet because that's locked. You can't venture further until you finish this part of the dungeon. Said who? Oh, okay. No skeleton warriors left. Total kills. 15. I can dig it. This is kind of like Paper Mario meets Diablo. It's like Paper Diablo. I'm digging it so far. Did I get hurt by that exploding barrel? No, I did not. Do I have a skill tree? Zombies and some other monsters have poisoned hearts. On death, zombies explode with a shockwave that poisons everyone around. Lethally, poisoning monsters are marked with a skull. Okay. 
Zombies cannot be poisoned, they are healed instead. Okay, did, so this guy's going to explode? Oh yeah. Hmm. That's not bad, I can dig that. Oh, there's a chest. Notice the footprints you leave behind. They show the direction you came from and mark the places you visited. Wow, I could have used that in, uh, what was that game I just played? Bard's Tale 4? I don't know, if you guys go back and watch the previous episode of the game train, I got lost in Bard's Tale 4 like a lot. I definitely could have used footprints on that map. Uh -huh. Golden footprints mean a quarter has been fully visited. Normal footprints mean partially visited. No footprints? <laughs> yeah, I haven't been there yet. Minimap will help you track all the points of interest on the level. Open it with tab or scroll. Oh, scroll. Scroll is nice. I can dig scroll. Ooh, let's get a card. It's a potion. Health potion rapidly regenerates heart points on use. I can dig it. I can dig that. This guy looks bigger than the others. Conrad, the Chop Chop. <laughs> bosses are tough. Each has one. Each one has multiple stages. The more stages a boss has, the more rewards he drops when slain. All bosses' stages are shown in the boss bar. Oh, okay. Before each stage, the boss is immune. He is preparing a special attack and cannot be stopped. Before each stage, okay. Huh, get away, boss. No, I don't want you. Oh, this is... Okay, now... Okay, now he's in an uh, immunity phase. He's preparing a special attack. Okay, now he's in another immunity phase. Now, while he's doing that, I'm going to attack his minions. How come I always have to stick to the path, but the other dudes don't? Ow, I'm getting hurt. Mm, all of a sudden, this game just got challenging. I'll deal with the boss later. Oh, I have a health potion. Let's use it. Drag it to... How do I... Okay, right click. Yes. Okay. Oh, that was close. Man, I'm sweating over here. Oh, that was intense. You really have to be accurate, because if you're not accurate, <laughs> you miss. Wow. Okay. That was... Whew. I could have done without that. <laughs> oh, zombie. Uh, run away! Run away! Okay, that looks like a way to go to the next place. Level up. Can I, I want to be able to use the arrow keys to move instead of clicking. But I cannot. Oh, the, the footprints happen on forks. Now it's fully explored. I want to be able to click on hidden things. Where's a hidden thing I can click on? Diablo 3 had hidden things. Whatever. Oh, I think, I think the game is trying to tell me where to go next. Because it's getting annoyed. <laughs> it's getting annoyed with me. Mm. Sure, now we can go down. Let's go down. Rank zero, ignorant. Next rank, 8,200 to go. Okay. Uh, oh, this must be <clears throat> like the rank is, like if I get to rank five, then I'll unlock more uh, classes to, to use. You have two unspent level up points. <laughs> I like how they don't call it, like, skill points. They call them what they really are. Level up points. That's classic. That is nice. Charge item cards. One available. Uh, visit the sage to do nothing. Visit the barmaid to do nothing here. <laughs> the barmaid. She ain't giving... She ain't giving out anything yet. <laughs> visit the healer to do nothing. Oh, the healer... Healer ain't giving no healing. Barmaid ain't giving no loving. Sage ain't giving no... Sagin, I guess. Advice? No sage advice. <sighs> I am such a lowly member of the uh, pecking order right now. You have two unspent level up. Oh, I have to click on it. <sighs> uh, 
Let's see, I am a warrior. I haven't even spent any mana yet. So I want to give it all to my health. Every time you turn a level up point into a heart or mana, the point of the opposite type goes into the cauldron. To collect the contents of the cauldron, talk to the barm. Oh, she's good for something now. Even though you lose the prizes, dying doesn't destroy level up points in the cauldron. Oh, okay. Does not apply to roguelike mode. <laughs> nice disclaimer there. So I guess I have two mana points now in the cauldron. Set up new game. Congratulations. Flexiscope is now available. With Flexicope, Flexicope, <laughs> Flexiscope, you choose the size of your game session. Depending on your preferences, sis, 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 you can divide your adventure into smaller or bigger games. Regardless of how much time you have, Flexiscope ensures fair balance of threats and rewards, and that the gameplay experience can be completed in the predicted time. Since Flexiscope learns your gameplay style, the time estimates for each subsequent session size should be more accurate. Let's go. Oh, great. So since I'm playing for like an hour and a half, it's going to estimate <laughs> that I want to play for an hour and a half all the time. Ooh, excuse me. Let's go for small, 13 minutes. Because medium is still not yet unlocked in the plexiscope. <laughs> plexiscope. Flexiscope. I don't know where Plexiscope came from. Um, zombie corpse, a couple left. Monster unmet. Ooh, okay, nice little bestiary. Skeleton wolf, yeah. Some left. Total kills, 32. So, are these, like, little things for rewards? Is that what that is? Hmm, okay. Total kills, 3. Okay. Start... Le game. I don't know what I just did. I think I could have clicked on any one of those. But I clicked on the very first one. Because I'm just that kind of a simple guy. You can use spell and item cards using keyboard shortcuts. Shown below the cards. Oh, okay. Keyboard one. Okay, so I can use my darkness, health my potion friend. with two. I've come oh, I could have used a mighty blow on the again. boss. Well, that would have come in handy. <laughs> Am I right? Whoa, zombie. Make sure I don't click on the uh, health while I'm at it. I like this. Now monsters are dropping stuff. Of course, they probably always were, and I just didn't uh, pay attention the last time, but hey. Let's open a scary-looking cauldron, shall we? It didn't hurt. I can dig it. Okay, fully explored that place. Let's go the other way. I'm digging this game so far. Miss? I don't know why it gives me misses. It's hard enough just to click on these stupid guys. And then they layer misses on top of that. Uh, that is very nerve-wracking. <gasps> Potion charge! Nice! Mmm, potion charge. Whoa! Gargoyles have stone hearts. They're immune to elemental effects. Poison, fire, and ice. I like how they limit it to three elemental effects. I actually am really digging that kind of simplicity right now. <laughs> when gargoyles turn to statues, they heal over time. Beware! Okay, I can dig it. Ooh, nice. bookshelf. I got a card. Unfit. They always say that. Artifact grants an extra attack against an additional opponent in range. Okay. Let's put that down here. Oh, I can't. Second. Second cards. You can have two sets of cards saved and quickly switch between. Come back. I want to read you. Okay. Um, upgrades. Hmm. Artifacts cards. Level one common artifact card. Can't equip. Not enough mana. Oh, it takes six mana to equip. Oh. Oh, I guess I should have gotten mana. I like how on my mana meter, they have the little crystals like floating around in there. That's a nice touch. 
Some armored monsters are protected by shields. Okay, now we're getting a little bit more complicated. <laughs> Damage the shield. By clicking the shield icon, monsters are immune until their shields are destroyed. Some shields are magical and can reappear after being destroyed. Man, if I have to click a whole bunch of stuff, this game ain't gonna last in my collection. <laughs> Let's just say that right now. Oh, there we go. Now your shield has been destroyed, sir. And I can destroy you. Get the money! Money on the ground! Who has a shield? Is that a zombie with a shield? Oh man, zombies with shields suck. And of course, paper spiders, because RPG tropes. Come on. When do I get another level? I wanted to get another mana so that I can equip that card that would come in totally handy right now. Dude, that guy's fast and brutal. I hope he missed me. Oh, he healed? What the hell? Or was that a boss? It might have been a boss. Oh yeah, I leveled up. What's up? Yeah, I think that was like a boss type character. Ingredients found in the dungeon are pl ingredients. Ugh, more ingredients for more crafting. <sighs> Yay. I'm kind of tired of crafting at this point. Like every single game that I've RPG has ingredients for crafting. But you know what? Whatevs. I, I can deal with it. At least these are automatically placed in the cauldron and transformed into prizes. I kind of like that idea, at least. That way I don't have to deal with it, and then I don't miss out on much of anything. To collect the contents of the cauldron... Cauldron? <laughs> What's going on in Joel's mind right now? <laughs> I, I learned from the last episode. The last episode I talked, like, straight into the microphone in order to do, like, the, the effects and things. Way too loud. I, I apologize profusely for that. So I'm not going to do that anymore. But now to collect the contents of the cauldron. Talk to the ball, ball maid. Beware, when you die, you lose the prizes stored in the cauldron. Mana and heart points are preserved in casual and normal. And we're in normal, so the mana and health points are going to be a preserve. I'm feeling... Like, I might grow weary and tired of just waiting for zombies to explode, especially if there's a lot of them, and, like, not being able to move forward. I can see myself uh, not liking that too terribly much. There is a shrine. You walked by the prize, but didn't collect it. But there's gold footprints everywhere. How did I walk by a prize and not collect it? To do on this level shrine. Oh, 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 there's a shrine. Okay, here's a shrine. Oh, I got another mana. Or health. You can click it to leave immediately. Oh, okay. This way to the exit. Nice. Okay, how do I level up? Do I, go, do I press I? Upgrades. Hmm, upgrades. What movie is that from? Hmm? I'll give you five minutes, uh, because in five minutes I probably won't remember what I said. Level up one. Mana. Cauldron. Card. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're cooking. We're cooking with gas. This is pretty cool. We're cooking with a gas. Oh, I can just click this to leave, right? Oh, well, it doesn't matter now because I'm in range. So when I'm in range, the, the fast travel thing disappears. After you take the stairs down, you can re-enter the level from the back by clicking on the right side of the level. That makes sense. total sense there. Uh, you can re-enter the level from the back. Oh, okay. You can always go back to town from the cross-cut screen, even between levels. <laughs> So, how do I go back to town on the cross-cut screen? Oh, okay, there's back to town. Visit the barmaid to purchase cauldron contents. Visit the fortune teller to charge item cards. One available. Oh, and there's something Greetings, that you Greetings, traveler. People call me uh, the fortune teller. Well, I was I'm exactly what I was going to guess. courageous enough teller. to visit a place like this. 
and stay. In truth, I came here recently myself. <clears throat> As I had few. I've been busy too while you were Gee. away. Oh, oh but you've been busy? Lame, don't tell me and that. I don't mean her skill of being busy. That just means she's cheating on you. Brewing. And it's the art of producing powerful magical elixirs that someone like you should Because everyone easy. knows that barmaids are only good for one thing. <laughs> I'm a sexist, I'll take care of the rest. Prick. Now, this is the magical stuff I'm talking about. So there are some rules. First, the more ingredients I mix, the greater the potion's power will be. Okay, great. Magical culture time. The magic in cauldron increases every time you find an ingredient in the dungeon. I think that's what the barmaid just said, but like with too many words. Too much of this, more of this. I just want to read and do it. Uh, collect prize. Wow, I have money. Didn't even realize I collected so much money. Collect prizes for 500 gold. Let's just do it. Each time you collect prizes, the price of the cauldron increases. When the hero dies, unbought prizes are lost. Do you wish to collect a cauldron? Oh, wait, we're going to risk losing the bone. I want to see how much it costs later on, so let's collect the prizes now. Which gives me more health and more mana. Alright. So I got 53 gold, dose charges of my potions, and a thousand more gold. Oh, next cauldron cost is 850, though. Wow, but I just spent money to make money, so that's okay. Animated cadavers are capable of experiencing only the most base effect, hunger. hunger. Who can imagine a less meaningful existence? Their bodies are still decomposing, so it's recommended to keep them at a distance as the gases they produce are of the deadliest kind. So this is pretty much just like a bestiary then, right? Which serves as a warning, just like the stench of charlatanry emanating from a fortune teller's wagon. <laughs> the stench emanating from the fortune teller's wagon. No wonder she was run out of town. Personal hygiene much, lady? Uh, let's see. Your arrival brings hope to my old heart. There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. I should know. Okay, if he's old but paper, he would have more wrinkles in him, I think. He looks very clean-cut and freshly made. Like, too freshly made. She's getting really crinkled, travels, man. These guys are less like paper. Look like a walk in more like, kind of like cardboard. Everything started with the disappearance of our bishop. I fear he has been dragged. Few mm. living... Visiting Animated. the bestiary doesn't give me anything cool, so let's not do that. Back to the dungeon. Cards are my specialty. Oh, excuse they me. Represent a novel that was very rude of me. <laughs> offering a there was no warning, though. There was absolutely uh, no sign that I was going to burp. Are often so I couldn't upon. warn you. Even more so in... Quaint places like this. Uh, okay, so I can charge a card. I can charge my health potions, but I think I have enough. Okay, I can only charge. I can only give it one more charge. Eh, whatever. Pick a card, any card. Can't upgrade it. It will be available after you find your first rune card. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and wait. I think I saw an exclamation point over this Stay dude. And listen for a while. Oh, I can unlock a card. <laughs> Stay a while. Stay and listen for a while. Ah, oh, Deckard Kane, your death in Diablo Three was w without any kind of uh, pomp and circumstance, and I feel so sorry for that guy. He got the royal shaft. And he wasn't even killed by Diablo, he was killed by a throwaway character. And <clears throat> when you killed uh, the Bish that murdered Deckard Cain, your character doesn't do anything to like say, Deckard Cain, your soul is, can now be at rest. Or maybe they did. But if they did, I don't remember it. And because I don't remember it, uh, it wasn't worth remembering. Or something like that? I don't know. 
in any case, dude got the shaft anywhere you wanna, uh, <clears throat> anyway you wanna say it. There, where there is darkness, there is always light. You are our hope in these dark times. So let's unlock a card slot. Are you sure you want to spend two thousand dollars to unlock another? Yes, I'm pretty sure. I got achievements for that. Warming up and easy come, easy go. All right. Next card slot to unlock is gonna cost me five k. <laughs> that sucks to hear. Like right now, it took me quite a bit to raise that first 2k so but uh with this next dungeon i'm thinking we're going to get even more monies at least i'm hoping so i want to kill these zombies first oh dude turned into a zombie okay okay i'm starting to get it now Greeted by a treasure chest right as I walk into the dungeon. I can dig it. With a five. <laughs> I was all worried about my money count. I just, I just, I just found 500 bucks just lying around, man. Blessed be the hour. More health? Man, I'm getting so much cool stuff in this game already. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, kill the zombie first. Now I can hurt this dude. Having a, I'm having a hard time, like, clicking on guys. <laughs> oh, that thing exploded. And it didn't hurt me. I kind of, I, I can dig that. I will totally kill, or maim, every barrel from a dist- <clears throat> From a distance, in order to prevent myself from uh, being hurt by it. Gargoyle, no! Bunch of gargoyles, no! Oh, stone dude. No, nope, you shall not heal. Level clear. Aw, oh, yeah. Got the shrine, got the chest. I always get the chest. <laughs> Gotta take a good peek inside those chests. Okay. Next. Level or tier three of the first level place thing. Oh, I could have gone back to town. There was something I could have done. That shield. Get that zombie. Ah, oh, see, I can't click on anything. <laughs> ah, I can't. It's it's hard. Oh. See, I had to. I can't. Uh, uh. You have to be accurate with your mizaus, and I'm just not that accurate. It's a little bit of a pain, especially these little gargoyle dudes. Come on. But you don't have to... Ah, what the heck? What what kind of nonsense was that? I just lost four health for nothing. The game didn't warn me <laughs> at all about nothing that shoots at you. <laughs> Where was the warning for that, game? Oh, it's an archer. No. Okay, well there's a health shrine there anyway, so you're still on my good side, game. You're still on my good side. I got my health back. There better be health shrines around every single archer, though. I was a sitting duck coming up against that archer right there. Uh, if there was one thing that I could tell past Joel, it's, hey, past Joel, just just run. <laughs> run towards him. <laughs> Charge the archer. Okay. So there's this shrine over here. And then there's that bookcase nice. over there. Ooh, got some manda. Great. Card. Bloody armor. Recovers hearts lost in combat. Okay, but I need, I need one more, oh no, I need, I need, um, dose more manas in order to use that.
Okay, but let's go ahead and move on. All of the activities are done. There's so much room for activities, and I can now click on that to go on the next part. All right, now we're cooking with gas. Take that, zombie cretin. Oh, there's, oh, there's a trap. The arrow was coming from the, oh no, it's just another archer. <laughs> I thought it was something cool. Ah, uh, no, more archer. Whoa, one hit bombs. Uh, oh, it's right now the boss is an archer. This is where Joel dies really freaking fast. Gotta kill the gargoyle. Okay. Hit the dude with the shield. Hit that minion. Is this the boss? No, that's not the boss. I can't tell what the boss is. The dude, the little bard is in the way. I can't hit him from here. I have to get this close. Okay, now he's gonna do his attack to usher into the next stage. Now he's gonna do another attack to usher into the next stage. I wanna clear these zombies out of the way. Wow, he's just hurting for no good reason. I can, <laughs> I can dig it. I hope I don't get hurt by those little projectiles that got launched at me. I'll have to watch afterwards or, or actually experience getting hurt by one of those later. But I hope they don't hurt me. Ah, I want to get rid of that archer first, but these guys must die first. I don't want to get that health until I'm done with the archer. What card is this? Oh, it's an amulet. Regenerates mana points over time. Regenerates mana points? But I think as a warrior, my mana points are quite static and don't regenerate. Because it looks like I use, like, reserve mana to equip things like, well, this amulet for one, and this shadow sword. So, I don't know what it means by regenerate mana. Maybe if I play a different class, I'll probably learn more, but whatevers. Okay, I'm gonna drink that fountain now. I am missing out on one question mark item. Wow, that is one ugly thing. What is this? It's like, a, it's like a cow. What is that? Does it actually say what it is? No, it doesn't. I didn't click on it. It auto-attacked. Ah! I didn't realize that guy was right next to me. There we go. This must be the question mark? Oh, no. Oh, it was a question mark before. Now I just know what it is is so yay all the activities are done and now all the monsters are dead he dropped money I heard him drop money so I went back for the money no worries no oh, money just lying on the ground that I didn't pick up are there any more monsters over here that I has yet to kill Here are more footsteps that I only went once. Okay. Oh, this is where I came from. That's what that is. Okay. Alrighty, I can dig it. How's my stream doing? Am I still doing excellent? Yes. Excellent connection. That's all I really care about. Concurrent viewers for this stream has never been high. By never, I mean like for the last time. Actually, for the last time, it was. I didn't realize that the first stream was private. <laughs> so, if you're like ever wondering, like, I didn't even know he like streamed the first time, it was set to private. So, that is why uh, nobody watched. Um, so, let's see. You are about to leave this part of Dungeon. Oh, uh oh. Missed out on the... Are you sure you wish to progress deeper now? Mm, no, I want to go back to town. There's one exclamation part mark uh, that I can... Oh, it's the barmaid. She wants my attention. Ah, missed me already? 
Hells yeah, I did. Give me some of that sweet loving. By that, I mean. I've been gossip. busy too while you were away. Don't tell me. The that. fortune teller is teaching me her craft. Okay. And I don't mean her skill with guards. It's called prize brewing, and it's the art of producing powerful magical elixirs that someone like you should find useful. All you need to do is collect the ingredients. I'll take care of the rest. Now, this is the magical stuff I'm talking about. So there are her some rules. Dialect. First, the more it, it's I mix, kind of hot, the greater the potion but it's also kind of creepy at the second. same time. Can... Anyway, I'm getting tired of her doing is this. That really so, uh, no. These creatures. No, I oh, can see your few. Oh, so, missed me already. I don't want to collect the prizes yet. I'll do that later. I shall do that a little later. Why do you oh, still have an exclamation missed mark? Missed me already. I, I, I've been busy too. Uh, I don't know how to get that to go away. I guess it's probably because there's one prize left in the cauldron, but I don't need it, I don't think. It's time to go down. You're about to leave this part of the dungeon. Are you sure you wish to progress deeper now? Yes, go deeper. Wow, that is... Man, it takes a while to get to rank 5. <laughs> I'm not even rank 1 yet. I'm rank 0 still. And I, I can't unlock the next uh, classes until I get to rank 5. So, still rank 0, still got a ways to go. But I'm an adept survivor. Uh, let's see, what other kind of perks did I unlock? Bronze level. Okay, everything's a bronze level. Not silver in anything yet. But I probably won't get silver in anything until later on in the game, so whatever. Oh, I got a new avatar. Let's set it as my current avatar. Origin. Archive of Awesome. <laughs> nice. I can share it? How do I share it? Whoa! I can share my avatar on Facebook. Let's just... Look at, oh, I gotta do it through Steam. Uh, no. Oh, we'll do that later. But that's nifty, I guess. Lemming. Origin. Archive of Awesome Research. Cost 6600 Research in progress. Oh, nifty. Avatar to be researched was picked automatically. You can change it if you want. I shall accept it. I accept it. Wait, hang on. I accept it. What's that from? Oh, I never told you what the other one was from. Matrix... Reloaded is the second one, I think. Um, yes, we're, we're, we're Neo, he's like fighting the new um, Agent Smiths or whatever, the, whatever they're called, and he's all like, hmm, upgrades. So yeah, that's where that movie was from. Now, I would ask you what that movie was from, where I said, I accept With, purposefully, with the delay on, that is from a movie. It's your job to let me know in the comments below what movie that's from, because I know it's from something with that delay kind of effect. I'm not exactly that delay effect, but kind of a delay effect. But I can't remember what it's from. And I might be dating myself, because I think it's from, like, Looney Tunes from a long time ago. I shall accept. I just visited the town. There's nothing to do there. Visit the barmaid. Oh, okay, so the only thing I could do in order to get rid of the exclamation mark is to purchase the cauldron contents, which would have cost me 850 gold. Which I don't want to do right now. Because if I wait until there's like two or three prizes in there from completing these dungeons, then um, it'll still cost me only 850 bucks to get the same amount of uh, prizes. Or to get more prizes, yeah. Same amount of money, more prizes, the longer you wait. The Flexiscope, TM. <laughs> I like how they have to put a little trademark thing there. That's cute. Uh, select game size below again. Small. I can't do medium yet because my any of your characters have to reach level five. I guess I'm only like level three or four. I don't know. I lost count. 
So, yar. Start the next game. Rewards 8 plus. Our upcoming games Book of Demons Hell card, Book of Arians, and. Okay, that's it. Oh, I can add them to my wish list from the game. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. All right. Next level. Use fire attacks to shatter frozen hearts and vice versa. Oh, great. More complications. You can hold your position and disable auto attack by holding the hold button. Shift by default. Oh, okay. You can highlight all objects. That would uh, totally solve my problem of like having, of like, having to, of, 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 Cause I was, cause what, cause when to go and the my problem was is that I was moving towards enemies accidentally because I was misclicking. So now if I hold shift, I'll be able to stand still and click enemies and kill them. That is not bad. You can highlight all objects using Alt key. Oh, just like in Diablo. How um, original. Or toggle it using caps lock. Okay, maybe I'll toggle it. You can also move using the case. What? I tried that already. Oh, maybe. Oh, I was using the arrow keys. No, oh, but I. Huh. <laughs> Bad time to experiment with controls when there are dudes coming at me. You know. Level up. Hmm, let's get more mana. No, more mana. I don't know why I got more mana because... Well, I know why I got more mana. Whoa, this is something freaky is happening. Hold shift. Whoa. I don't want to touch any of that creepy purple stuff though. Ow, ow. Leave! <laughs> what the heck? What was I supposed to do? If I go back, you are not in top form. You should probably see the healer before entering the dungeon. Are you sure you want to start the adventure despite your luck? Yes. Because I have health potions. Oh, goodness. Oh, I can move through them. And I'm missing. That's like a, that's like a succubus or something like that. Uh... What the heck? Oh, it's a dungeon. Oh, it's a... It's a boss already? Tons of archers. What the heck? Like, the difficulty just totally spiked. Mm. But you know what? I can deal now that I know that WASD can move me. Okay, now you. Take care of all those dudes. Oh, please hit her. Oh, okay, I can dig it. More potion charges. I'll wait for those little purple balls to pass. Oh, look at me. I'm <laughs> dodging arrows left and right. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, I have eight health left. It's probably going to be time to use a uh, potion here pretty soon. Movement mechanics using WASD. A little bit janky. Um... Although it's 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 almost like second nature to know uh, what oh oh whoa that's yeah that's janky because I did not mean to take that right hand turn pew ouch but I okay yeah that is a little weird. It's, 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 it, I mean, it feels natural later. I mean, I get why I took the right hand turn. Because I'm using left and right to move now. So if I, I'm using, I'm holding down D. So if I approach that fork, I'm going to take a right hand turn. Boom. Okay. I'm getting things. I'm understanding now. I am actually quite surprised that I survived all of that crap. Blessed be the hour. What did I get now? Shield. 
I don't like... You see, now they have, like, the zoom-in for the cards, but the cards are in top form from this distance from the camera, and when they grow in size, they get blurry. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. That's a little lazy. A little sloppy. Shield, can I equip it? And let's put this back. Can I equip this now? Yeah! Now that I have my sword and shield, I feel like a bona fide fighter man. Fighter man! Fighter man, fighter man, does whatever a fighter can. That, uh, what do they call those? Catheters? That catheter did absolutely not- I know it's not a catheter. Sepulcher! That sepulcher did absolutely nothing for me. But make the place, the whole place shake when I broke it open. Okay, all activities are done. Let's drink that wall juice. That's not really wall juice, but... No! Oh, I wanted to fight that skeleton dude. No, go back. Oh. There was one skeleton guy that I missed, and now I have to go all the way back through the dungeon in order to get him. There he is. Oh, and I, I missed out on a whole dollar, too. Okay. Next! Can I skip that one? No, I can't skip the next one. I, I have to go sequentially. Oh. What was that thing that I... What was that succubus that I fought? It doesn't tell me. Hmm. Interesting. There's some kind of heretic in this. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's always a good sign to find a... a what are those things called? The little upside-down star babies. The sign of the devil. It's always nice to see the sign of the... I know it's not the sign of the devil. I'll think of what it is later. Some monsters cast skills. During casting, monsters are immune to damage. Oh, what? Can I cast stuff and be immune? I don't think so. Oh, but... Click and hold a skill bubble to break the skill. Okay, that that's cool then. Whoa! Nah. What? You know what? I'll, I'll fight you from here. Uh. Whoa! Whoa! Get out the way! Oh crap! No! Heal! Oh, don't get in my way when I'm trying to heal! Heal! There! No! What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Heal again. <sighs> How do I become unpoisoned? Oh, okay. It wore off after a while. Oh my goodness. Oh, more gargoyles. Oh, and I died. Ingvar, level 5 novice warrior, died in maze on depth 107. Spectacularly killed by a gargoyle. Well, at least I went out with a little bit of fanfare. Are they just feasting on my corpse right now? They're still attacking me like I'm not dead. Did I turn into a zombie or something like that? The first death. Collect your tombstone to retrieve your lost cats. <laughs> so it's totally like Diablo. Uh oh. Oh, half an hour left in this episode. Collect your tombstone to retrieve your lost goods. Okay, each time you die, your lost goods will be moved to the new tombstone. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. Where's the healer man? Thank the heavens for hearing my prayers when... I have no mas mones. What does the dungeon look like now? I still have 17 health and I still have 12 mana, but all of my stuff is gone. <laughs> What's my card inventory look like? Rest in peace for my shadow sword and shield. I got a that bloody armor and my amulet. 
Chance to spawn hearts when being hit. 40%. Okay, I can dig it. <laughs> this amulet is, like, useless for me as a warrior, but whatever. Whatever. Okay, I have no money to do anything else, so nobody wants to talk to me because I don't have any money. Typical. All right. Back to this thing here. Yay. Oh, there's my grave. Now I'm going to be a little bit more careful. Oh, recover my hand before death. Awesome. Her achievement unlocked deck shuffle. Oh, wow, I didn't lose my experience. That's cool. Now I'm level six already. Mm. <laughs> Taking the sound effects those cows make. That's that's awesome. They're pretty funny. Okay, I know that big old baddie is around here somewhere. Yep, right there. You die now. All right. That was the cause of most of my frustrations from earlier, so glad that's gone. Taking some hits, that's okay. I'll just use the fount. The red fountain. The blood fountain. I still can't remember what those things are called. Uh, I feel, I feel so... Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I was just watching a newscast that involved that word. I can't remember what they are. It's, 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 it's... I, I call it streaming disease. I'm gonna call, a, I'm, I'm gonna come up with a better name for it, but it's like, it's like a brain fart due to trying to think on the spot. I'm still trying to think of it though. And whenever I stop talking, it's because I'm trying to think of the word for that thing. This is where it would be nice to have viewers. <laughs> so that somebody can tell me what it is in the comment section. <sighs> and then I wouldn't have to rack my brain trying to think of a damn word. Let's see what we go to here. Is there anything over here? Nope. Gotta explore there anyway, though. Always gotta explore. The, the name of the game when it comes to RPGs. Exploration. Exploration is key. Break that shield, son. Take that health. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't think those falling rocks do damage to anything, but... Whoa, wow. Archers. <laughs> I just love those cows. They're not... They haven't caused me any problems. As of yet. Hey, I blocked something. Cool. Ooh. Raw XP. I can dig it. Um, let's see. There was... Oh, there's another chest that I haven't taken a look at yet. Gotta look at all the chests, man. It's just... It's just what I do as a man. Um... Okay. So, I... Want to go here past this thing? Still can't remember the name of it. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I don't want... Of course, I don't want to know what they're called, but, you know, I do anyway. They're not Ouija boards. <laughs> I don't think it sounds... I don't even think it sounds like Ouija board. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, another gargoyle. Oh, that's a zombie, but there's a gargoyle right there. That I, oh, I can't click on the gargoyle until... Oh, great. He's gonna heal up now. He ain't dead. Yeah, no. You don't get to live, still. Just because you can fly away. Ah, he hit me twice. Three times, apparently. I'm missing three HP. <clears throat> okay, so let's get more HP here. I don't know, what should I do? Should I get HP or should I get mana? Five, four, three, two, one, health. <clears throat> well. 
Ah, too much good stuff. This corridor is like the AMPM of RPG dungeons. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I broke his spell shield. <laughs> Take that. You son of a bitch. Alright. There was nothing in that chest? I'm so disappointed. No. You can't heal. Go away. And die. What? That guy caught me off guard, you stupid cow. <clears throat> hey, more mana. I can dig it. Nice. That is nice. Hey, I got a skull crafted choker. A skull. Oh, it's a belt. Grants various magical boons to the wearer. Just because it has a boon attached to it, I want to equip it. Chance to dodge damage from skeletons. I don't have that amulet equipped anymore, so I don't have to worry about uh, that. 20% chance to stun a monster when being hit. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> and potions are 50% more effective. Not bad at all. Break that, kill that guy. He doesn't drop any gold. Whatever. You are dead to me. You are useless. So now all the chests have been peeked at. <clears throat> I still haven't gone through this door though. But they're, all the activities are done. Hmm. Well, I'm still gonna go through that door anyway. Unless it's locked. Because if it's locked, that would make sense. Oh, but it's not locked. Uh, go back. Oh, I have to keep going. I couldn't go back through. That was uh, surprising. I did not anticipate that happening. Oh, crap. I have to go face the archer head on, which is never a fun thing to do. Wasn't able to attack that gargoyle while he was static. <clears throat> Had to wait until he was quite dynamic. Now the level is clear, but all the activities were done. Whatever. <coughs> I want to visit the Gila. Heal me! Oh, you did, automatically. Nice. What's Death Rage? I want to know this. <clears throat> death Rage recharges with level up. And after reaching level cap, it can be recharged here for gold for 100k. Wow, okay. It's probably like as soon as I reach like zero HP, I just refill my health bar, maybe. I'm almost there. I have 6k gold. So that's pretty cool. Oh, What's all in already? the cauldron? Oh, there's a golden key. Option is not yet available. Well, it costs too much money. It... <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. Again, no warning. No more. I had no idea. Uh, magical cauldron. How many prizes are in here? No, no prizes, but there is one life and one mana. I think with for six grand, that's worth the 850 uh, that I could spend. What's the next cauldron going to cost me? 1500? 800? That's less. Oh, okay. Well, I can take it. I thought it was supposed to increase as you went, but. After 5 p.m., we sell pastries at half the price. Huh. Huh. Mommy is as kind as she is strong. Maybe as it populates with prizes, the cost will go up? She's been caring for me as if we That's were not what it said, though. It said that the cost of cauldron... Cauldron... I'm just gonna call it cauldron from now on. It's too hard to pronounce cauldron. And believe me, such places are I thought the price of the cauldron was supposed to go up. House. But... If the innkeeper has a stout heart, none despair even if the times are dire. That's what she... That's what she said. Unlock a card slot for 5k? Totally gonna do it. Yeah, you break that log. Okay, so I have my extra mana. Can I equip a card? 
I can equip mana, the, the amulet, but I don't want it. I'm one mana shy of being able to use my skeleton belt or my bloody armor. When am I going to get my next level? Uh, next rank at level 10? Current XP, XP for the next level. Oh, okay. So, I'm pretty close, I guess? Whatever. Don't let me forget to equip my bloody armor. And it shouldn't replace my shield. I, don't, I do not know. Mm, gargoyles are gonna come to life. I hate that. Like, I have to take damage from gargoyles. So dumb. So, so dumb. Oh, it's a boss. Some monsters are guarded by others. They are immune until you kill all the guards. Because physics, right? Game physics? Because game physics. Because, because game, game physics. physics. Some rewards can also be guarded by monsters. You need to kill all of the guards to get Zitreza. Okay, so let's go through here. Well, I wonder what monsters are his guards. Oh, spell. Uh, how am I doing on health? We're doing okay. <laughs> Going in and out to avoid all those pesky hazards. Hmm, had to destroy a roadblock there. Ha! Ah! Oh, this card. Mm. Mm. Oh, goodness. down to my very last HP. Well, okay, I'll just use it now. Even though there's a health uh, fountain right there. That'll help me out after I take damage from this gargoyle, who's in my way. Look at that, I can't help but take damage from him. So dumb. This guy's a lot of health, and he's very mobile. I like that. Let's see what this card does. It looks like a vial. Remedy cures various negative effects and gives resistance to them during the effect. Oh, okay. So I can use that to cure my poison. I can dig it. You die now. Thank you. Level up. Let's get more mana. And then equip my... Instead of having a remedy on here, I want to use my skeleton belt. Did I just discard the remedy? I just discarded, oh well, okay. Okay, can I put this back and equip my remedy? No, what, get, get, get back on there. Why can't I use my remedy anymore? Oh well, whatever. I didn't want it anyway. You hear me? I didn't want you anyway. Alright. 
pipes. Level clear. Okay. I've done all of the things in all of the right places. Oh, okay, it doesn't let me drink from health fountains when I'm full on health. That's nice. Um, I don't have any money to go back and do anything in town, but I guess I could, I could uh, plunder the cauldron. Do you remember how we used to play? Lying in the grass, watching the clouds and guessing our future from their shapes? We saw many strange things, but I never suspected what fate had in store for us. How did I not marry this woman? Let's see, collect prizes 800. I kinda wanna wait a little while longer. I mean, yeah, I was crying like a little bitch in Welcome some places back, my back in that dungeon, but I'm sure you've already noticed how things I think I'll be okay the without the cold cauldron. I keep on calling it something world. else. Now it's the cauldron. The I'll be alright without the so cauldron forth. contents now. One as smart as For yourself now. surely realizes that this mostly is due to my beneficial presence in this small town. Take Barmaid as an example. Let me guess, this is going to be the last sure, boss. Surprisingly <laughs> the talented game, when it comes probably. to prize brewing. Most likely. Her potential would surely go to waste if it wasn't. Charge card, two out of two. Okay, oh, well, I have to charge my remedy. Let's charge a remedy card then. Oh, okay, now I have to click charge card. It gets me one remedy. Let's get two remedies. Mighty blow. I've never used a mighty blow. I have, I have yet to use a mighty blow. Of course, it costs one mana. And all of my mana is taken by equipping stuff. Alright. Uh, that's, that's fine. Oh, missed me already? <laughs> yeah, I did. Give me some of that sweet lemon. Go down. You are about to leave this part of the dungeon. Are you sure you wish to progress deeper now? Well, no, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hey, I reached rank one. Not bad for the first hour. Next avatar, 1601 to go. Visit the Hila to do nothing. Visit the barmaid to purchase cauldron contents. Cauldron contents, sorry, I'm not very consistent. Oh, dang, oh, dang, oh, dang, oh, dang, oh, dang, oh, dang. I tried. I was. I know I apologized for burping, but I was gonna just gonna try and burp with the delay on. And didn't quite make it in time. <laughs> At least I don't think I did. I don't know. I'll have to go back and check. Visit the fortune teller to charge item cards. Two available. Well, actually, I didn't. Congratulations by reaching level five. Oh, I didn't have to reach rank five. I just had to reach level five. Okay, I can dig it. So oh, I can play I can as one of those two classes now. Very Well, let's charge my cards up to max then. And go back into the next part of the dungeon. Oh, and I have medium now. Oh, nice. Okay, well... You know, I'll tell you what, I think this is a good place to stop now. I'm probably going to keep on playing this game on into the night. But now that we have a good idea of what Book of Demons is all about, I think that's pretty good for an episode of The Game Train, featuring yours truly, Joel Michael. Uh, next game up, I think I have City Skylines is the next game I'm going to be playing live. So definitely tune in for that, because everyone loves City Skylines, right? <laughs> right? <sighs> well, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, so this concludes this episode of The Game Train Live. Thank you very much for watching. And you guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button, because I schedule these now. So you'll know 
uh, at least a couple hours beforehand when I'm going live. And everyone's, like, home these days right now anyway, because quarantine and stuff. So you'll be able to watch me whenever you want to. And uh, feel free to leave a chat. I, I, I love to be distracted by your chats. I would love, I would absolutely love to be distracted by your chats. Totally love it. Uh, love the idea. So anyway, but hey, thanks for watching. And you guys, have a good night. And now I can't fade out, so I have to hold this goofy pose while I end my stream. Ha ha ha.